Closing Entries, the purpose of them and how to record them. You've just finished preparing your financial statements. The next step in the accounting cycle is to prepare closing entries. But you're asking, what in the world are those? Well, you've come to the right place. Please allow me to explain. Closing entries are a necessary part of the accounting cycle. The closing entries involve three temporary accounts, revenue, expenses, and dividends. Just think red. These accounts are used to show changes in stockholders' equity during the accounting period. The purpose of closing entries is twofold. First, to reset the balances of these temporary accounts to zero so that they will be ready for entries in the next accounting period. Why, you ask? Well, if revenue and expense account balances are carried into another period, they would become mixed with revenue and expense transactions of the new period, making the determination of net income or net loss extremely difficult, if not altogether impossible. And the second reason we close temporary accounts is to update the balance of the stockholder's equity account retained earnings. The temporary accounts were opened to show changes in stockholder's equity during the period. When the period is over, the balances of these temporary accounts are summarized and transferred to the retained earnings account. Here are the steps to the closing process. First, we must close the balance of the revenue account to the retained earnings account. Remember, revenue's normal balance is a credit, so if we want to zero it out, we will need to debit revenue. Second, close the balances of all the expense accounts to the retained earnings account. Remember, the normal balance of expenses are debits, so to clear those accounts out, we must credit the expenses. And third, close the balance of the dividends account to the retained earnings account. Again, dividends normal balance is a debit, so to clear it out, we must credit dividends. Let's take a look at the journal entries. The journal entries will look like this. First, we must close the balance of revenue to retained earnings. Revenue will be zeroed out by debiting the account for the balance $57,300. Your credit will be to retained earnings for the same amount. Remember, debit dollars must equal credit dollars. In the second closing entry, you must debit retained earnings and credit each of the expense accounts used during the period. To get the amount to debit retained earnings for, you simply add up all the credits. In this example, when you sum all the credits, they equal $45,220, and this is the amount to debit retained earnings for. The last closing entry is to close the dividends account. You will debit retained earnings and credit dividends. By making these journal entries, you will zero out the temporary accounts, revenue, expenses, and dividends, and update the retained earnings balance to reflect the changes in equity during the accounting period. You may be asking yourself, if I've closed revenue, expenses, and dividends, what happens to my assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity? Well, remember, these are permanent accounts, so we will always leave them open. We've almost completed the accounting cycle. Next up, our last steps, posting closing entries and the post-closing trial balance.